During the Second World War, to increase the efficiency of concentration camps, one of the main Nazis of Germany, Heinrich Himmler, ordered the organization of brothels in ten concentration camps. Applications for work in them were supposedly voluntary. This system was part of an insidious strategy by which the Nazis deliberately humiliated prisoners. The topic of forced prostitution in concentration camps has been hushed up for a long time. Margaret, a prisoner of Buchenwald, told in her memoirs that among tens of thousands of people she was one of 16 women. In the SS concentration camp system, she and the other women had the sole task of serving men. Margaret worked as a forced prostitute for other concentration camp prisoners. The idea to organize such brothels in concentration camps came a year earlier to SS Chief Heinrich Himmler himself. It was not about doing something good to the emaciated, tortured male prisoners who were used as slaves. Himmler wanted to increase the productivity of his slaves, which was very low due to the poor living conditions in the camps. Therefore, in March 1942, he ordered to send diligently working female prisoners on a voluntary basis to brothels. Since 1942, such brothels have been organized in a total of 10 camps, such as Sachsenhausen, Mauthausen, Buchenwald, and even in Auschwitz. At first, Women were recruited from the Ravensbrück women's concentration camp, but later they began to be selected from other camps. It was mostly about German women, since Jewish women were not chosen for racial reasons. At first, the SS personnel, in whose charge the brothels were functioning, chose specialists in this matter. That is, those women who, before their arrest, actually earned money by prostitution or were suspected of it. Soon they were joined by women who were engaged in desecration of the race, that is, they had sexual relations with Polish, Russian or Jewish prisoners sent to forced labor. Applications for this special service were voluntary in the sense that women were not forced. Those who volunteered could hope for adequate nutrition, regular medical examinations, protection from beatings, abuse, and hard physical labor. For some time, the SS also promised these women that they would be released from detention in a concentration camp in six months. But true voluntariness in the conditions of the concentration camp, of course, was out of the question because at first the SS created an inhumane system from which women were then protected. However, participation in this saved their lives, according to historian Robert Sommer, almost all women who went through the work of a forced prostitute survived. However, despite this, some of them still died in Nazi concentration camps. When the women agreed, they were first quarantined and given a thorough medical examination, especially for the presence of sexually transmitted diseases. At this time, they were well fed and physically nursed. After all, they used to live in terrible conditions of a concentration camp, which was reflected on their body. However, for the SS, the aesthetic aspect was not the most important. Women had to be healthy and able bodied. Then they went to a special building in the camps, as the SS shyly called the brothel. Himmler's elite units ruled there indefinitely. The special buildings were designed in such a way that a corridor ran through the center from which it was possible to get into rooms with women. These rooms were very simply equipped. It is noteworthy that all the prisoners who wanted to visit the brother also had to undergo a medical examination. Then they could visit a room with an involuntary prostitute. In order for everything to take place within the rules, SS people could constantly observe what was happening through the viewing hole in the door. Then the concentration camp prisoner had to undergo a thorough medical examination. 
the spread of sexually transmitted diseases in any case should have been prevented. The Nazis called the right to go to a brothel a privilege. Sommer estimates that only about 1% of concentration camp prisoners have been to a brothel once or more. At the same time, it was about prisoners belonging to the upper stratum of the concentration camp, as a rule, working prisoners. For them, such a visit should have been a reward for good work. However, it cost two stamps, which many prisoners had no way to get. The brothels in the concentration camps were part of an insidious strategy by which the SS deliberately humiliated prisoners. Because an increase in the productivity of workers could be achieved by improving nutrition for all prisoners. But Himmler didn't want that at all. When men went to a brothel, they humiliated themselves in front of SS men. At the same time, they also became complicit in the sexual exploitation of women. But for women, the situation was especially difficult. They became victims of the Nazis and prisoners. Although, as Kogon's book shows, the topic of forced prostitution in concentration camps became known shortly after the fall of the Third Reich, it was resolutely hushed up. It was only in the early 90s that some women, such as Margaret, were not afraid to talk about their life in a concentration camp. Until then, no one was interested in this, neither the men who were served by women, nor the women themselves, because they were afraid that their fate could be presented as if they literally voluntarily worked in brothels. By the way, there are not many of these women, several hundred became victims. But their fate is of great importance because it shows that the Nazis wanted to insult, humiliate and mock the prisoners of the camps in any conceivable way. In fact, for these women, it was only about survival, and at least in this they were successful. Their fate has never been recognized, they have not received compensation. There is only one known case in 1966 when the victim filed an application for compensation. It was rejected on the grounds that the statute of limitations had expired for the suffering she had suffered. Friends, thank you for watching the video to the end. Please subscribe to my channel.